Hi, this is Alonzo Bowden. You are watching Comedy Matters TV because comedy matters. That's, that's why they call it that. So I'm here at the Comedy Luncheon where Chelsea Handler just got the Comedy Person of the Year Award. And I'm here with Alonzo Bowden, who was the host of the event. How are you, man? I'm great. I'm Good. great. That was fun, right? It was absolutely fun, yeah. And I liked your take on the thing. It's like, did they give you a lot of notice that you were doing this, or was it really just thrust upon you? They, they called me about a week and a half ago, and I said, what is it? And they said, well, you're hosting. And I'm like, do you have a script? And Here are the winners. Boom! That was it. So I I thought it went great. We had a good time, and it was, uh, it was and I like particularly only a comic could do that to play off the audience the way you did that with Hannibal Burris when he got the award, but he left it there. You know, other people who don't have the stage experience would just like, okay, fine. But you were able to use that to do callbacks and be like, yeah, okay, I'll bring him his award. Would you like a glass of water? You know yeah, what I mean? You, you think funny. you think I was clowning around? I'm kissing up. Hannibal's gonna be the man. I need work. Yeah. You understand? So if Hannibal needs me to run him an award, I'm okay with You're that. You're happy to do it, right? <laughs> yeah, but no, but it was very funny. Thank you. You perform a lot in New York, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I grew up in New York. LA's my home, so I, I both coasts, obviously, but um But now you're working mostly out of LA, you're based you're uh, you're living in LA? Yeah, LA's home. So I'm based out of LA, travel everywhere. Because I feel like I see you in New York. Well, again, it's home, so I, I work in New York three or four weeks out of the year or you know sometimes I'm just back visiting family and and I pop up there maybe you're mixing me up with somebody I, I have no, to tell, I know no, who you are yeah. no I have to tell you this yeah, story because yeah. this is my greatest just for laugh story uh -huh. yesterday I'm having breakfast you know they have the little cafe yeah, up the, by the hotel the VIP area where you don't get any hot food no no not yeah, that yeah. I'm talking about the restaurant on the corner outside oh, anyway okay. yeah, go ahead. these people come over and they're like oh my god Kevin Hart we love you. You are so funny. We're, we're going to see you in Toronto. Now, I don't know if you've ever met Kevin. I produced Kevin Hart. Okay. I co-produced him in so, so I'm only a foot taller well, uh, than Kevin. Yeah. And you're in the wrong city. Like, you didn't just miss by a foot on the comic. You missed by a city, Montreal versus Toronto. So I just let them think I was Kevin, and then I smacked their child. So <laughs> next time you see Kevin, he may have a few issues with Child Protective Services. It's... Yeah. He's actually up here. Isn't that funny? I'm saying this to my producer, that before I came down here, I was looking for my Kevin Hart thing, because I usually carry a little thing that we did. We did a benefit for Haiti in 2010, okay. and Kevin was the star, and Tony Rock yeah. mm -hmm. who, uh, was the featured performer, and Will Sylvince. I don't know if you yeah, know Will. Know Will. Will. Will's Will. hysterical, yeah. right? We sold out Westbury. It was like 3,000 yeah. seats, and it was crazy. And it was just as Kevin's career was blowing up. Since then, obviously, it's sky high, you know, but it was a great event. Kevin was fantastic. Do you know, Tony just got the, uh, he's doing the new Jamie Foxx show. Oh, is he? Uh, Apollo Live. Yeah, he's the host okay. of Apollo Live. Sure. Yeah, we just, I was up in Harlem. Yeah. They brought me to Harlem. <laughs> hey, listen, it was fun. There's more white people in Harlem these days than black say, people. Ever right? since Clinton moved in, the neighborhood has changed. So you're all right uptown. Absolutely. Absolutely. So anyway, um, but it, did you have a home club in New York when you were working? Uh, what was your favorite club? The Boston Comedy Club. Oh, Barry's Place. Yeah, yeah. I used to work at the Boston all the time. So if I, if, even though the Hollywood Laugh Factory, that's my home club. But if I had to pick a home in New York, it was the Boston. That's great, man. Well, it was great to see you, Alonzo. Thank you. Really, Thank you. really cool.